welcome back to a new vlog. If you're new here, my name is Kelsey and I am a second year, second grade teacher in Florida. As you know, I am pregnant. I'm actually 32 weeks pregnant now, which is insane to me because that means that anywhere between six to eight weeks from now, I'm going to have my baby girl. She's going to be here. Our little family is going to officially grow by one more and I'm just so excited. So as you probably know from my last vlog, I did share that I wanted to start showing a little bit more of mommy, pregnancy, lifestyle, home life, day in the life, you know, things like that. I wanted to start sharing just more of that content because this is something huge in my life and it's something I'm really excited about just like teaching. And I just wanna try to share as much as I possibly can about it. So I hope you do enjoy the new content as well as the old content as well. But overall, I just want this channel just to be an overall like lifestyle, mommy, baby, teaching, just a life, you know, <laughs> I've already said it like three times, but just a lifestyle channel, you know, where there's just a little bit of everything that teacher and teacher moms can relate to. And even just moms that aren't teachers maybe you're pregnant right now and just whatever so i wanted to start sharing a little bit of that so with that being said today we do have a very long to-do list and today is new year's eve we don't really have much plans for today because we've been out and about all through thanksgiving and christmas and so new year's is kind of the time for us to just kind of like unwind settle down before the new year and you know just get things done so today, the biggest thing that we are going to be doing is we're going to be working a little bit on the nursery. I haven't shown the nursery at all. I will be showing you guys today, of course, but um, she mostly has everything, like all of her furniture and big things like that. So it's just a lot of organizing and decorating that we're going to be doing today. And, um, you know, just kind of getting it a little bit more together because I just had a rude awakening that she's going to be here a lot sooner than later. And so I just want to make sure that we just get things done little by little so that at any given moment, if she were to come earlier, you know, we're ready for her and we don't need to, you know, struggle or, or anything like that. We're just good to go. So anyways, with that being said, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you don't already, go ahead and give me a follow at Teacher with Curls on Instagram. I usually post there first before on YouTube, so you'll be able to know the latest things a little bit sooner. But anyways, like I said, we have a lot to do today, so we're going to go ahead and get going. Okay, so I did want to show you guys baby's room right now. Like I said, it kind of looks like a hot mess, but we're going to work on this a little bit today. So this is what it's looking like. The floor actually used to be carpet and my stepdad and my husband were able to take out all the carpet and put wooden floors and it looks so much nicer in here. But this is basically what we're working with for now. Like I said, there's just things everywhere. Um, so my sister got me this rocker glider. I am leaving the plastic on. I probably will leave the plastic on until as long as I can. So I don't have to worry about any stains or anything. This is a sign with her name that's going to go up. Her name is Analia Esther. So we got that off of Etsy. And I'm so excited that's going to go above her crib. But on this wall, we are also going to do some like uh, rainbow decals because her room theme is rainbow. So we're going to put that on this wall. Hopefully we can do that today or at least most of it today. Um, this is just something I got from Hobby Lobby actually yesterday. No, two days ago. It was 50% off, so I think it came out to like six or seven dollars. And then this is her stroller. It's already built and ready to go with her car seat in it. Those are things that are going to go like in her diaper bag slash stroller for like travel and stuff. Um, what else? This is just like little decor that I've just kind of stashed away until I figure out what I'm doing with it. This is her crib. Her crib is from Target. Um, I will try to see if I can find the exact crib and link it down below, but this is the crib. I love it because it's just so simple and white, and then I love the little wooden legs on the bottom, so it's so cute. And then in here, there's just like little things I need to hang up. This is for me postpartum. This is her mobile, which I'll put up. This is kind of like a snuggle me pillow. I actually got it gifted to me, so 
yeah, there's that. This is her dresser. I think her dresser is also from Target. I'm not sure which one it is though, but um, yeah. And then this is literally just all of like, well, not all, but a lot of her things that just need to find a place like her um, baby monitor, the bottle warmer, which will go in the kitchen, a humidifier, just like things like that, her little bathtub, which we just need to find a place for. And then here is her closet. Homegirl has more clothes than I have already. <clears throat> so basically, these are all of her clothes. They are all organized by size. Well, this isn't all of her clothes. These are clothes that were gifted to us at the baby shower that I haven't washed or folded or anything. I don't want to take off the tags and all of that until I see like how big she is and what she's going to fit into and all of that. So that way if I need to exchange things for a bigger size or whatever, I can do that. But between each size, we have these little like dividers that tell us what month like how big the sizes are for the next section so like all of these clothes are three to six months and so on and so forth so that's all her clothes and then down here are still like gift bags and things like that and gifts in there from the shower that again i just don't have the space right now to go through and organize all that but hopefully today we'll get this more done but um basically just just gifts everywhere so these are her things as of now and then up here we do have quite a supply of diapers and wipes already so i feel really blessed for that so this is what we're working with i also bought this um little four cube like shelf from target i'm actually gonna return this and get a bigger one from walmart because this is gonna go in her closet in this area for more storage like under her clothes but I realized that a nine cube would actually fit really, really nicely in here and give me so much more storage space to work with. And it's actually not much more expensive than the four cube one. I think the nine cube one at Walmart is like $35, $37, something like that. So we're gonna return that today, get the bigger one, hopefully build it and put it in here and start kind of putting things where I think I want things to go until I get the baskets to put in the cube, which we'll talk about later. But this is pretty much what we're working with. And hopefully we can just cut down the clutter a little bit today and just kind of, like I said, just put things in a place that they'll probably stay at. So we're actually gonna go ahead and head out, go to Target, Walmart, and I'm not sure if anywhere else, but anyways, I'll take you guys along with us and here we go. much much later in the day and it's very dark outside now and today has just been one of those days where it seems like nothing can go right I went to go pick up my online order for the nine cube like shelf organizers from Walmart and they didn't have my order so that sucked and then I had to call around to a few different stores to see if they had anything in stock and I finally was able to find almost the same exact one of course a different brand at Lowe's so I went to go pick that one up and now we are back home. So we are gonna go ahead and build that together and then hopefully that doesn't take too, too long so I can um, put it in the room and start kind of organizing a few things in there. So wish us luck, but here we go.
that was actually easier than we thought, right, babe? Yep. <laughs> so we were able to put it in. So this is what it looks like now. And we were talking about like when she gets a little bit bigger, how whatever clothes are hanging might hit here. But I'm not too worried about it. I mean, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I do love how much more storage I'm going to be able to have in here now. And then I just put this little trash can here for now, depending on how big her hamper is or if there's something else that could go here. Probably put that there, but for now it's fine. So I'm just going to see if I can go through a few of these bags and like her blankets and stuff in here and put them in here for now. On Sunday, I have baskets coming in for the ones that don't have that backing. I have six baskets coming in. So I'm only gonna need five, I'll have one more, but so then I can put other things in there. But let's get to organizing. girl has a bunch of hats and bows which I'm super excited for because I literally told everyone that she has to have some sort of bow or hat or flower on at all times but this is the bucket I'm gonna leave her bows for now in I am gonna like I said I have the order coming in for the buckets or for the baskets to go in here for now it's just gonna go here until I get those or until I figure out if I want to hang some up. But for now, we're just going to stick those in there. She has too many. Too many to count. So for now, they're there. actually Sunday and yes I have a hat on again because my hair is a hot mess and I did not feel like doing it this morning so I just put on a hat but um the last clips that you guys saw were recorded on Friday and by the time the last one was recorded it was already like nighttime it was like 10 o'clock at night we were both so exhausted it was New Year's Eve and it was just a crazy day so we we're like let's just stop <laughs> so that's why we literally just stopped on Friday but now it's Sunday and we want to get more things done in here. So like I said, for the most part, she has like all of her big furniture and stuff like that. We're just really doing like more decor things and organizing and, and things like that. Um, so let me give you a quick overview, although you guys have pretty much already seen it. But So we did get this rug from Target. I don't like it. I'm going to actually return it. I already ordered another one off of Amazon that's just completely different. Number one, it's too small. And number two, I feel like this tones down the brightness of the room a lot. So I'm actually getting a white rug with like peachy, pinky like design on it. I'll see if I can link it below. But so I'm actually gonna return this. We're gonna roll this up and return it. Um, I know it still looks like a hot mess in here, but it's actually really not that bad. Really what looks a hot mess is like her stroller. And the reason why all that is at the bottom of the stroller is because it's things that go on the stroller or on her diaper bag, which I just got her diaper bag in and I love it. I ordered it from Amazon as well. I'll link it below. I will eventually do a, you know, what's my diaper bag or packing my hospital bag or whatever video so i'm not really going too much into detail on the diaper bag but it's really really nice and it's very spacious and has a lot of compartments so i need to go through that and see what goes in there um but anyways for the most part nothing really has changed in here other than the rug and then you guys had seen us putting together the nine cube shelves and me just kind of for the most part finding a spot for where i kind of want things to go unless you know things change but i still haven't gotten the baskets that are going to go in some of these so for now things are just put in there but it's going to look a lot more organized when i get my baskets in and those should be in tomorrow so anyways like i said i am going to be doing a lot of decor things today hanging up things and all of that 
try to do some more organizing. Sorry, that's my dog. <laughs> Trying to do some more organizing and um, maybe washing a few things like blankets and clothes. We'll see. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get that started. And But real quick, let me show you baby bump. Okay, so this is what we're looking like today. You can definitely see her a lot more than with just a loose t-shirt, but here she is. There's little baby bump. She is eight months, 32 weeks, and we're so excited for her. I literally can't wait. And it still is so insane to me that she's literally going to be here anytime between six to eight weeks. Like, what? That's so crazy. So anyways, there she is. And we're just feeling comfortable today. Just some leggings and socks with, what are those? I don't even know what they are. Koalas? I don't know. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys real quick what we're putting on the walls. These are just some little decal wallpaper sticker things um, that I found on Amazon. I'll try to link them below as well. I originally wanted like a full wallpaper, but then I just thought about it and I was like, I don't know if we'll be able to put that up. I've never really dealt with wallpaper, so I don't really know. And plus, I'm okay with like the tannish color in the room. It's like an off-white, it's not really tan. And so I figured these might be a little bit easier. It's just gonna have to be a lot of measuring of exactly where I want them because I'm OCD like that. So anyways, we're just gonna put these right behind her crib and kind of make that like the accent. just like now like actually pressing them onto the wall because we just kind of placed them in case we needed to move them but we are now going to we got her name on this like frame really big that's gonna go above her crib so now we need to measure that and see how that's gonna look but overall I love how this wall looks I think it's my favorite wall in the house honestly but it's so so cute it was pretty simple I mean the longest thing that took was measuring where we wanted everything but for the most part i really like it it what brought a pack of 32 i have one rainbow left over and it pretty much did the entire wall and there was actually um a couple spots where i couldn't put a sticker because there was the outlets right there in the way where like it would have gone so i just kind of left it but for the most part it's super super cute i hope they last i mean i think they'll last there's a lot of good reviews so Anyways, we are going to... We put up her name sign and a couple other things. So I'm going to show you really quick what it's all looking like. There it is. I'm so excited. Her name sign came off of Etsy. Um, I can see if I can link them down below. It's a 20 by 48 inches. Um, so I did get the biggest one because I wanted it to like sit well above the crib. And then here's her crib. And then the little mobile is so cute. So actually the mobile and then the stand were separate. The mobile came by itself. I didn't know that, 
but it's fine. The stand I got it cheap off of Amazon. I think it was like 13 bucks. Um, but it's so, so cute. And then this was just a wooden stand. So yeah, and it's just all coming together so, so nicely. I know like you can't get the full, full vision just yet because there's still like so much other stuff everywhere. But little by little, as we're getting cleaned up, it will come together. And then we also got this floor lamp. Um, so my husband went ahead and built it, but I'm not really sure where this is gonna go yet. I don't know if it's gonna go like in this area or somewhere over here, I'm not really sure. But this is the floor lamp that we ended up getting. So I am just washing a, some of her clothes and like other blankets and things like that that I went ahead and opened up for zero to three months. I'm not washing too, too much newborn stuff. I have some newborn stuff but I am washing a little bit more zero to three months than newborn because everyone has told me that the babies don't really fit in their newborn stuff for much longer. And if she's a bigger baby, which I doubt she will be, but um, she may not even fit in the newborn stuff when she is a newborn. So it's fine. Right now in her drawers, like the things that I have were handing down to me and they're all newborn stuff. So only the new things that I opened are zero three to three months. So I'm doing a few of those, but I'm not washing everything. Like in her closet, she still has um, lots of clothes with tags on them just in case, you know, she's not going to fit into it or we don't get to her wearing it because she grew up into the next size. So just in case, I'm going to leave the tags on until I'm like, okay, I'm going to use this. So I can always exchange it for a bigger size or something else, whatever. So anyways... I am currently, like I said, washing a few things. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get to organizing her drawers with the organizers and all of that because we have a few things we need to leave the house and go do later today. So I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I know the content's a little bit different, but it was so much fun recording, just like putting her stuff together. It's just so exciting. Like, I can't believe this is happening in six to eight weeks, hopefully. I'll be meeting her and she'll be sleeping in her little, well, she won't be sleeping there, but she'll be able to be in her room. It's just, it's so crazy. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you don't already, go ahead and give me a follow on my Instagram at teacherwithcurls. I usually post there a little bit earlier than I post on YouTube, um, but it's just fun getting to know new people all the time. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.